Thor News presents Noctilucent Clouds. Why are you so special? Well, what are Noctilucent Clouds? Noctilucent clouds are not fully understood and are a recently discovered meteorological phenomenon. Right? Right? There you go. And that's what we do here at Thor News. We cover meteorological phenomena. What are Noctilucent clouds? It doesn't seem like the term got very popular until 2012. And I became aware of it when they said Comet Ison's double dusting will give us beautiful and magical Noctilucent clouds. Wikipedia says... Noctilucent clouds, or night clouds, are tenuous, cloud-like phenomena that are the ragged edge of a much brighter and pervasive polar cloud layer called polar mesospheric cloud in the upper atmosphere, visible in deep twilight. Sabar, vampires that turn into diamonds in sunlight are dumb, beautiful, and magical noctilucent clouds. They are made of crystals of water ice. Noctilucent roughly means night shining in Latin. Sidebar, Latin, the language is good to know. If somebody's trying to F you up using magic, all you gotta do is use a bunch of Latin words and their magic will discombobulate. Okay, I don't know if that's true. Noctilucent clouds. They are most commonly observed in the summer months at latitudes between 50 degrees and 70 degrees north and south of the equator. And they can only be observed when the sun is below the horizon. They are the highest clouds in the atmosphere. And I am the highest man on the planet. But I'm high in life, ladies and gentlemen. Just like Nancy Bush says. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. They are the highest clouds in the atmosphere. Located in the mesosphere. They are normally too faint to see. And are visible only when illuminated by sunlight from below the horizon. While the lower layers of the atmosphere are in the Earth's shadow. Why are we talking about not loosen clouds? Because even... Dr. Wikipedia knows noctilucent clouds are not fully understood and are a recently discovered meteorological phenomena, right? You see, noctilucent clouds can only form under restrictive conditions. Their occurrence can be used as a sensitive guide to changes in the upper atmosphere. And they are a recently new classification. See, the universe and our own planet and its atmosphere changes all the time. Nobody knows everything, dude. That's the whole point of Thor News Channel. Nobody knows everything, dude. All right? So we're just wondering. These new magic space clouds show up. They're growing. They're confusing even the scientists. And they're, they come from meteor dust. We think that's where they come from. The seedy dust that meteors drop off as they pass by Earth stops in the highest form of the atmosphere. Form beautiful space clouds. Shine at night. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. You see, clouds in Earth's lower atmosphere form when water collects some particles, but mesospheric clouds may form directly from water vapor in addition to forming undust particles. The sources, the sources of both the dust and water vapor in the upper atmosphere are not known with certainty. Certainty. See? The dust is believed to come from micrometeors. See? So these meteors be changing our planet, bro. These meteors may be the messengers of the gods, which is cool with me. All right, noctilucent clouds are apparently so special. Spaceweather.com is now following them daily and has a chart on their front page showing us the activity and the formation of the noctilucent clouds. And Spaceweather.com had an article the other day talking about how the noctilucent clouds were behaving strangely beyond what we even know about them since they are a brand new phenomena. So I definitely think we should be keeping our eye on the noctilucent clouds and the strange signs that are in the sky. It's probably been a whole lot of meteor dust lately. And I got a feeling with Comet Ison in the year of the comet, we're, we are going to be getting a lot more comet and meteor dust in our atmosphere. That is a Thor News guess. I cannot tell you that for sure. But I do like clouds. I do like the color blue. And I like all things that are mysterious and romantic. Because me and my imaginary girlfriend like to lay out in the field and make out. That is not true and that sounds stupid. I'm going to erase that. So yeah, we'll keep an eye out and an ear. And we'll keep our face to the ground. No, we won't do that. That, that would be dumb. Nobody puts our face to the ground. And thank you guys for watching. Just be aware of these noctilucent clouds. And I'll end it with, apparently there is a lot of ice crystals up in the troposphere. Because this photograph is from today of the sun halo that everybody's seeing on the west coast. Just a giant halo around the sun. Beautiful photograph. Alright, well, God bless everyone. Have a great day.